Hello everyone. So in this video or this series video, I'm gonna go through a paper by A. J. Dick on an introduction to canoe appendix completion. This paper aims to provide an informal and intuitive introduction to many of the concepts essential to a clear understanding of canoe appendix completion. So what and why are we interested in canoe appendix completion? So from Wikipedia, we know that it is an uh, it is a semi-decision algorithm for transforming a set of equation over terms into a confluent term rewriting system. And why are we interested in it? When the algorithm succeed, it effectively solves the word problem for the specific specify uh, algebra. So we're going to go through each of the terms, uh, each of the key phrases one by one. So what is the word problem for specify algebra? It is simply saying is to determine if two expressions represent the same element. Okay, so for example over here, we want to check whether the left hand side is the same as the right hand side expression. Same as in identical in terms of uh, equational uh, reasoning. Okay, whether they are identical from left hand side. If you simplify them, left and right, each one of them, it would it be the same eventually. So this is what uh, we are interested in. So what do you mean by transferring, uh, transforming an equation into a rewriting system? So for example, we have equation 0 plus x equals to, zero, uh, equals to x. So this is an equation because we have equal sign. So we want to transform it to a rewrite system, rewrite rule, which uh, is from the left hand side to the right hand side. It rewrite from a more complex term to a more simplified term where both sides are equivalent. I'm going to mention, uh, talk more about this in later part of the video. So, and lastly, semi decision algorithm. What is it? Okay, so if a valid equation is passed through uh, this algorithm, it may be proved by running the algorithm. However, if invalid equation is passed through to, uh, uh, passed through to the algorithm itself, it cannot be shown to be invalid. So, what's the difference between semi and, and full decision? For full decision algorithm, uh, for invalid equation, it can be shown to be invalid when it passes through the algorithm itself. Okay. However, for semi, just the key difference is that for semi that decision algorithm, invalid equation cannot be shown to be invalid. Okay. So let's go to one simple example. We have over here my negative negative a equals to a. Uh, from young, we know that this seems like um, like axiom to us, but however. In most of, in mathematics and for this uh, equational theory, um, we need to follow the axiom itself. Okay, we always start from the axiom, then we try to prove whatever we have. So for this case, we have uh, this is the group additive uh, axiom a one to a four. Then I want to prove this, so I go through all this in details. So negative negative a equals to negative negative a plus zero, and this is done by applying a two. So we go from this right hand side to the left hand side and we get this. Then after that use a3, okay, from right hand side to left hand side, 0 will become negative a plus a. And next we use the associativity law by a4 to change the bracket from the right hand side to the left hand side over here, the first two term. After which we use a3, same, we use, uh, for this case is from left hand side to right hand side where the ax for this case in this case, will be negative a itself. So after this will become zero, we use a one again back over here. Okay, then we get to, to a. So now we essentially prove from the left hand side, step by step to the right hand side. So negative negative a will be equals to a. So this is a typical typical proof of negative a negative negative a equals to a. However, if you take a closer look at second step, suppose it's a machine. Okay it may not know what value of x to suck in yet. Okay, all you need, all he knows is that for a3, you can uh, replace a 0 into negative x plus x, and where x is a free variable, or you can treat it as a blank. The machine do not know what value to be filled in for this blank. So for over here, we have negative x plus x, where all these are blank. And then we use associativity law to make the bracket over here. From here, in order to simplify this to 0 by using a3, we need to first substitute x with a, 
then eventually they will know that oh we can use the a3 um, axiom to simplify it so there's a hidden so-called step that we sort of take it from granted that we need the machine to do okay so uh, the proper term is unification but for this for the time being we just treat it as a substitution x was be substituted by a then after that we will be able to uh, solve this okay but what if we don't start with a1 we start with a2 so negative negative a equals to zero plus negative negative a so what will this cause this will cause the whole uh, proof to look different and what if we have a more complicated equation Instead of negative, negative a equals a, we have uh, like equation as um, complicated as the previous slide. Okay, over here. Then we can use the all the axiom and whatever equation we have to prove that complicated um, equation that we want to prove. And at every step, you can go from left to right, right to left, and the proof tree or the proof system the whole proof going to look very different depending on what type of axiom or type of theorem you use so if you want the machine to go and search all these proof and eventually get to the correct proof it might be a bit difficult and it will take a long time for it so we need a systematic way to automate such reasoning okay so in the later part of the video or videos i gonna go through how does the canoe pendix completion achieve or try to achieve this uh, such reasoning?